Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to configure disk quotas on Windows 11. So if you want everyone on your computer or hard drive in order to have a fixed amount of hard disk space available, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up File Explorer. So if you see a taskbar icon for it, when you hover over it, just go ahead and open it up. Or alternatively, you can search for it as well. And you want to select this PC on the left panel here. Now you want to right click on whatever drive you want to create disk quotas for. And you will select Properties. And now that we are on this page here, you want to go ahead and select the Quota tab. This hard disk supports space limits for each user, so a single user cannot fill the entire disk. Click this button to view or change these limits. Go ahead and select where it says Show Quota Settings. And now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just check mark where it says Enable Quota Management. And then you can also check mark where it says Deny Disk Space to Users Exceeding the Quota Limit. So meaning if someone goes over it, they won't be allowed to have further space allocated to them. And you then, once you've enabled it, you have to go down underneath where it says select the default quota limit for new users on this PC. Select where it says limit disk space to. And then if you click on the drop down, you can select how large space you want to allocate. And then you can also select the actual numerical units in the field right next to it. So a pretty straightforward process on that, guys. So let's just make an example here. So we can set a limit disk to... 10 gigabytes and we'll set a warning level at 9 gigabytes and then once you're done with that you go ahead and select apply and then OK OK again now if you want to adjust these settings you can go back and just select show quota settings here and then you can modify them from here and then if you select quota entries you can see different status notifications as well as the amount used by different users on the computer if you select the Quota tab and select New Quota Entry, and then enter in a username here, if you're not seeing their name show up in this list here, so login name, if you're not seeing them in here, you may have to go in again, Quota, and then New Quota Entry. And pretty straightforward process on that, guys. You can also configure this through the Group Policy Editor. If you're running Windows 11 Professional Edition, it won't be available in the Home Edition for the Group Policy Editor. But if you were to open up the Search menu, and type in group policy. Best result should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. On the left panel here, underneath computer configuration, you want to double click on the administrative templates folder. And do the same thing now for the system folder. And then there should be a folder under here that says disk quotas. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, there should be something that says Enable Disk Quotas. Go ahead and double click on that. So this is a way that you can also enable disk quotas as well if you go through here and you can change the values from this field once you've enabled it. So it looks very similar to the other menu that we were looking at. And you can also enforce the disk quota limit. Again, that was another option that you could see that was present in the other menu. So just another way of visually displaying it. There's also a registry way to go through about this as well, which I really would suggest staying away from, frankly. I think we have two other methods here that work pretty effectively. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.